Lesson 142, Using a Graphing Calculator. You've done quite a bit of graphing in this course, and so far you've done all of your graphs by hand. You've just drawn them on paper. But it's also possible to do graphs on a calculator. With more complicated equations, a calculator or maybe a computer is actually the only practical way to even do a graph. So in this lesson, I'm going to show you some basics about how to work with the graphing calculator. There are a lot of different kinds of graphing calculators, but here's a pretty typical one. Let me show you. This has a lot of the same keys that you would find on any calculator. Numbers and operation keys like addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. But then it also has keys that you use for graphing. Most of these are on the very top row, right here. Let me just show you how to graph the equation y equals 2x plus 3 with this calculator. The first step is to press this key right here. This is the y equals key. The calculator only lets you enter in functions where one side of the equation is already solved for y, and so it has a y equals key. And the first step is to press this. And that brings up a whole bunch of y equals, actually. See, there's a y1 equals, a y2 equals, a y3 equals, and it goes on down. The calculator has room to enter a lot of functions at once. That's what these are for. And that is useful in case you want to graph a system of equations or something. We're only going to enter in one equation here, so we just need to use this top line. The next step, though, is to enter in 2x, and so we press 2. And then the x key is right here. See, this has an x on it, but it also has other variables that you would need if you were going to enter in different kinds of functions. We won't worry too much about those right now. We'll just press this. Why don't you go ahead, just click on it. That's right. See, it puts in an x. And now the next step is we need to enter plus 3. And why don't you do that yourself? Just click on the plus key. That's down here, and then click on the 3. Go ahead. Good. Now that we've got the entire equation in, the next step is to press the graph key, which is right here. Go ahead and click on that. Good. And look what we get. This is the graph for y equals 2x plus 3. And if we want to see the equation on the screen, we can get that up by pressing the trace key which is right here. I'll just press trace for you. And see, now the equation is right here. And we also have a point on the line that's highlighted. It's the y-intercept, the point 0, 3. And see, it says x equals 0 and y equals 3 down here. It puts the coordinates of the point that you're on down at the bottom of the screen. And what's neat is that after you've pressed the trace key, you not only can see the equation, but you can move from point to point along the line. We're on the y-intercept right now, but if I press the right arrow key here, that moves us to another point on the line, and that changes the coordinates at the bottom. So we can just go from point to point by pressing the right or left arrow keys. As I press the right arrow key, you can see the point move along the line and the coordinates change each time. But that's how you can graph an equation on a calculator. Let me just list the steps. First, you press the y equals key, and then you enter the expression on the right side of the equation, and then you press the graph key, and after that you press trace, so you can see the equation and analyze the graph better. There's something else I should show you. The calculator will also do a table of solution pairs of the equation that you've entered. All you have to do is press table. The table is actually above the graph key in yellow letters. It's kind of small. Can you see it right here? The reason it's above graph is that the graph key actually does two things. You can press it for graph, but you can also press it for table. Since table is in yellow, what you have to do is press the yellow second key first. When you press second, that causes the graph key to change to a table key. And so to get table, you press second, and then you press graph. And when we do that, look what we get. See, it's a table of x and y values for the equation y equals 2x plus 3. 
and you can go up and down this table to find whatever solution pair you want. All you have to do is press the up or down arrows. Why don't you use the table to answer a question for me? In our equation, what's the matching value for y when x equals 5? You got it. So on a calculator, you can see the solution pairs in a table as well as the graph, which is pretty neat. If you want to go back to the graph, all you have to do is press the graph key again. And then if you want to see the equation and coordinates of some points, you just have to press trace again. Now let's graph another equation. This time we'll graph y equals x squared minus 4. This is a quadratic function, so the graph won't be a straight line. It should be a parabola, actually. But let's go through the steps. First, we need to press the y equals key. Why don't you do that? You got it. We still have our old equation here, and so we need to get rid of this. All we have to do is press clear, and that wipes out the old equation. Now let's enter the new one. We've already got y equals, so we just need to enter x squared minus 4. We press the x key first. Remember, that's this key here. Go ahead and click on it. Yes. Now, to do an exponent, you first have to press the exponent key, which is right here. This symbol is kind of like a little hat, but it's the symbol for an exponent. It's actually used quite a bit. And so we press the exponent key, and that puts the hat after the x, and now we enter the exponent, which is 2. Why don't you go ahead and press 2? Good. And then from here, we just enter minus 4. Go ahead and do that. That's it. Now that we've got the equation entered, we're ready to graph. And so we press the graph key. Click on that one for me. You got it. And look, we get a parabola, which is what we expected. I'm going to press trace also just so we can analyze this. Let's see, here's the equation. And then right now we're on the y-intercept. Here are the coordinates of that. x equals 0 and y equals negative 4. And if we wanted, we could move to other points on the curve by pressing the left or right arrows. See, the calculator shows it's going to different points. And the coordinates of x and y change on the bottom each time, just like it did on the last equation. But that's how you graph equations with a calculator. It's actually a very powerful tool.